I had two forms of breast cancer, a little over six months of chemo. It was just, okay, I got this diagnosis and I'm gonna deal with it. You know, we get a broken leg, we deal with that. They discovered I had intravascular large B-cell lymphoma, and it's a, it's a very rare cancer. You have great nurses, great oncologists. Everybody here does a superb job. Bringing somebody with you, I think that's always one of the top, the top things that you can do. It's not only for, for, say, like being in the clinic and receiving your chemo, but then when you talk to the oncologist, so that you have somebody else who remembers what was said, rather than you trying to remember with all the chemo and all the things that are going on. Everyone wants to feel guilty that they're asking for help or they don't want to have help around, but it's really nice to have some support and have people there with you, chit chat, talk, whatever. I knew that chemo was gonna lose my hair. I knew that much. And then I used these funky scarves and that's how I dealt with it. The nurses here are just like, are smart, kind, look at the caring, and they really look after you. I had the same primary nurse, Melissa, every time I came to hospital. And I think I was checked in by the same nurse, Caitlin, every time I came to hospital. They're always accessible. And that's really, really important to know that you always have a support test, nursing staff that's there for you. The main thing was I survive. I'm going to survive and I'm going to live life to its fullest. And on Friday the 13th of February at 7 p.m., my oncologist called me to say they couldn't find any cancer cells. And that was just unbelievably, an unbelievable relief.